Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different and it's not about an organization, it's not about um, how to be a mom, it's about me, celiac. Celiac is a disease that involves your um, digestive system and most people don't realize that people who are celiac um, have different symptoms. Um, maybe all of them, maybe some of them, but most of the time people don't realize they have it. Um, I did not know I had it. In 2010 I was diagnosed with it. Um, what it basically is, is I cannot digest gluten, which is um, a protein. A lot of the symptoms are, and I was one of them, was played off as um, irritable bowel syndrome, or maybe I was told that I was lactose intolerant, which I probably am a little bit, and usually with gluten, which is wheat, um, and other harsh, harsh proteins, um, and like wheat, rye, barley, stuff like that, I cannot have, um, but preferably wheat is the most common known, but um, with wheat, I can't, a lot of people with wheat allergies even cannot have very much dairy, which I kind of have both. Um, now I'm very bad at following celiac, which can be very damaging to my health. Um, most of the symptoms is um, symptoms for adults, usually iron deficiency. I also had that as a child. I was extremely anemic. However, we did not know if I was celiac. I could have been then. Um, I was so iron deficient, I was on um, liver and onions three times a day and iron pills, along with a laxative because you can get um, extremely blocked up from it. Um, you can have joint pain, boin bones pain, which as a child I was diagnosed with rheumatoid, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I don't have rheumatoid arthritis today that I am aware of. but. Um, these are things that could have led up to um, finding out if celiac was um, more aware of back then. Um, um, you can get um, a lot of erratic menstrual periods, which a lot of people don't like to hear about, and um, rashes, and I've had a lot of that. You can have diarrhea, you can have constipation, infertility, um, miscarriages. Um, Anemia is very big, depression, um, weight loss, weight gain, abdominal pain, bloating, gas. Um, these are just some of the um, things you can have, growth problems, either delay of puberty or early puberty. Now, I was one of the early ones. We don't know since I wasn't diagnosed as a child if that led to, was a sign of celiac. However, um, in 2010, I was diagnosed with it. I had excruciating pain. They tested me for irritable bowel syndrome. That's what they ruled it as. Um, they tested me for um, gallbladder issues because I was 29 at the time. Um, and still, I had these pain. I had a friend who, God bless her, um, my friend Andrea had mentioned she has been diagnosed with celiac. And she had told me to try this out for a week. So I tried it out for a week where I didn't eat anything with gluten. Very hard um, for someone not knowing what is gluten free except for obviously whole foods and I was not on a very good diet back then and so it was very hard for me to transfer um, irritability and depression I was having. Um, so anyhow I started that for a week and I did not have that stabbing pain. I did not have bloating and gassing. I notice when I eat gluten free like I'm supposed to, I do not bloat or have gas like a pregnant lady. And any woman who is pregnant knows that that is the worst kind. So, anyhow, um, to my point, May 1st, that's today. I don't normally post for Mondays, but Mondays um, for Mama's Tips, which you will still get one on Monday. But this one was very dear to my heart because May is. Celiac Awareness Month, and it is May 1st, so I want to post this today. So it might well be the best video, and I don't look the best this evening since it is like 10:30 at night, and my kids are in bed. Um, uh, 
Celiac Awareness Month started in 1987 in October. It changed when Canada started doing um, specific events in May of 2009 for Celiac Awareness. The CSA, which is Celiac Support Association, please go to that site, celiacsupportassociation.org. Um, go to that site, donate to CSA. Go speak to local stores for your friend or a family member. Have someone checked in your family to check because another one is lethargic right after you eat pastas or wheats. Um, napping. Have you ever seen someone just, you know when you get that feeling in your stomach where you're like, oh, I ate too much pasta. That could be a sign. And I didn't know that. I used to nap after I eat spaghetti, but now I eat gluten-free and it doesn't affect me and I don't get heavy and tired. Um, so I know I've been to a few stores, I won't name them, but one of them is a big major chain um, and they don't store their products properly of gluten-free products and I have said something numerous times to the management and for some reason it is always blended in or mixed in. It cannot be, or put on the bottom, which that boggled me because I explained gluten flies low, gluten free flies high because then nothing falls on it to contaminate it. Now once at the store I had gotten a package of penne noodles, um, which are gluten free, the package was opened and I had a little slit in it. And it was not a big deal, it didn't affect me. I didn't notice it until after I cut the top and saw, and it could happen at the store, it could have happened um, in my travels from home to the house. However, it could have had contamination or that affected me. Now, some people don't realize there's really gluten sensitive celiac or just gluten sensitivity um, or just wheat allergy. Um, some people are really sensitive. Then places like Domino's are doing gluten-free. However, they're still processing and using the same um, stuff that they use the gluten-free. So you're kind of taking a chance there. Um, Mellow Mushroom has gluten-free. However, I don't know how they do their utensils in the back either. So you're really taking a chance there. Um, Somebody who's really sensitive can't use the shampoos, can't use makeup um, that isn't gluten free, which there are some great ones out there. If you want to know, comment below and I will tell you some amazing um, makeup, shampoos, um, vitamins, proteins. Um, Vitacost is a good one to check too. Um, there's a lot of things that some people cannot have. I am not that sensitive or I've just gotten used to not being that sensitive, I'm not sure. Um, but if you want to know more about celiac, please check out that site, research it. If you have a friend, now I am not a doctor, I am just speaking from my own personal experience. If you have a friend or family member who is gluten sensitive or has celiac, please be understanding. It is so hard to switch to that when you see someone eating a donut and you don't have a gluten free donut for them. or a sandwich and you don't want gluten-free bread for them. It's just it's simple things that you don't even think about. Um, pies at Thanksgiving, just those sort of things. Um, they are coming out with more of those things for people. I wish they would make it cheaper or tax-free. One of the two because it is not a lifestyle for some of us. It is a life change. It is not just I'm going to do this for the new fad. It is because I could get hepatitis C or I could die if I don't properly take care of myself, which I am not the best at. I'm not going to tell you that. I am amazing at gluten free because I am not. I had pizza the other night and I paid for it. Try to be understanding. Try to offer. I had one friend and it wasn't even really a friend. It was my husband's friend's wife who said, hey, we're having a barbecue. Is there anything you need for your gluten? Um, allergy because I know you have see like and me being me I said oh no don't worry about me I'm fine I didn't want to make them pay for the expensive buns or foods that was the only person I have ever been friends with or been acquainted with that has ever asked me if I and I'm gonna give a shout out to her it's the Cassidy family and thank you 
I was too embarrassed to say, yeah, it probably should be good. So I just ate a plain burger and a plain bratwurst so that I didn't totally contaminate myself. But I just want to thank you. I know you might not see this video. I know it's probably not even something you watch, but that kind of meant the world to me. I've never had anyone care to ask. Um, going out to eat with them and know that you are ordering something in front of them and maybe they can't have it, so maybe put yourself in their shoes. I'm not asking you not to buy a burger because you can go to Red Robin and they can get a gluten-free burger. It's amazing, I love Red Robin. Um, but some places don't offer that, so just be cautious. Another thing is don't push them to eat something that isn't gluten-free. Um, oh, you can have it this one. It's been hard for me to change. I've been diagnosed since 2010. It's been five years. I am not perfect at it. There's another reason. I am a family of five, and that is another reason why I did not completely go gluten-free because it is not cheap. Um, organic is not cheap, and neither is gluten-free. But um, I'm going to close this because this is getting long. It is late. Uh, research it. Donate, please. To anything to help us um, and thank you for watching this video I'm sorry it was long this was just something I felt was on my heart that I wanted you guys to know about me love you all and thank you and I will see you on Monday